Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are getting a new car. Actually, it's not a car, it's a van, a very big van. So we are getting rid of our 12 passenger Nissan NV and we are going with a Ford Transit mid-roof 15 passenger van. So I thought I'd give you a quick tour of our NV and tell you what we like and didn't like about that. We've had it for five years and, and then I'll give you a quick tour of our Ford Transit and tell you what we anticipate that we will like and not like about it. <laughs> so let's get started. We bought our Nissan NV used. We also had to travel far and wide for it. Uh, it was hard to find Nissan NVs that were used at that time and we didn't want to pay the price of a brand new vehicle. So it worked out really great for us. We got it two weeks before our seventh child was born. So we were driving a Ford Explorer, or Ford Expedition XLT, I think. And my husband really liked the SUV feel. He really liked SUVs a lot. And so that's why we went with the Nissan NV. It was really his choice. He liked it a lot better. All I really cared about was enough room to fit all the children that we had. And the other vehicle was not doing that anymore. So it was time to upgrade. We waited till the last minute because we weren't looking forward to it. Um, but we really have liked the vehicle a lot. No complaints. And the only reason we are changing vehicles now is because we need more seats. We just had our 10th baby. So we are filling up every single seat in this vehicle and we are about to go on a long road trip and it's just getting hard to fit us all in. My oldest just turned 16 so we're all in the car together still twice a week at least. So we do use the vehicle all together um, a lot, enough that we need space for everybody. <laughs> a little more space. So it can be difficult when you have a lot of car seats to fit in there. Um, the middle seats are the only ones that have the infant uh, hooks down there I think for the infant car seats but you could still use a seat belt in any of them you see there's three seats here three seats here there are four seats in the back and the back does fit a car seat in each seat they're nice big seats and they all have uh, the shoulder belt whatever and we got some toys in there <laughs> we really liked the NV for the safety too that was another thing that was a big deal for us the vans that were being made five years ago that we could find used actually were not very good in the safety features and so we were happy with that with the NV so you can see it kind of looks more like an SUV up here this is definitely not the upgraded package we have the cloth seats and the upgraded some of the upgraded packages have these big consoles in the middle ours is just empty which was nice because we actually <laughs> can move back there on we take 30 hour road trips at least once a year and so we can just move around in the vehicle a little more we went ahead and put in this system which is like a I, I don't know all it does so I would be able to tell you but we really did it for the backup camera and then we also put in some DVD player headrests and then after a few years we added that thing so that one you have to use uh, infrared headphones we just use it on long trips only and so yeah that's what it's like in here plenty of room my husband is 6'3 and he really likes driving this and one interesting thing that it really is bare minimum. I'm not sure how many upgrades the upgraded one has, but there's not even like mirrors here. <laughs> it's just, it, it does the job. The other thing that's interesting, kind of annoying about the Envy, one thing we haven't loved, loved. Oh, wow, what am I finding? I always find some trash somewhere, somehow, no matter how many times we think we cleaned it out. Um, is It is not a lot of trunk space. So it does fit our jogger stroller double double jogger stroller uh, we have to really oh there's my headphones I was looking for those earbuds somebody borrowed them <laughs> it does fit our double jogger stroller but we have to really shove it in and it goes on this side so obviously when we're picking up a month's worth of groceries and using this van we have to use the seats okay one cool thing though I haven't done this in a while so I don't know how much it matters like there's a there's a handle there, but there's something you push somewhere. Wow, I really haven't done it. Oh, there you go. And then your doors can go all the way back. I guess that's a unique feature that we have hardly ever used. <laughs> Just to be honest. <laughs> anyway, we put sandbags back here in the winter months for the snow because if you don't have the van full of kids, it really slips slides around. It's not for four wheel drive. 
but we did get a V8 engine, so it's really nice that way. Uh, it picks up very well. I love that part, but yeah. That snow part is a pain though. One last thing I'll show you about the NV. I, I don't know if this would apply. This doesn't apply to everybody, I'm sure. But we were able to take that top piece out of our garage and pull it into our garage, which has been huge. And as you see, when we bring the other one home, it's not gonna be an option right now. Just taking that piece off allowed us to pull in, um, pull in our van and that is great in these nasty Nebraska winters. <laughs> okay, I'm back. It's a few weeks later and we have the new car. We've actually had it for weeks now. So I'm gonna give you my honest opinion about everything. This is, for some of you, this is the car tour you never wanted, the van tour. Because <laughs> maybe you'll never own a van like this, but I'm gonna give you the tour of the new ride. Solo just got in there. It's actually running right now, so this is a good time to see it. And there's a big game of something going on behind me if you hear all the noise. <laughs> all right. You wanna go on a ride? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Ooh, it's cold out there you though. Test drive? No. This is the mid medium rough Ford Transit. The sun is starting to go down. This is a bad time. Hope is in the car. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to help with this tour. Okay, so there's a couple things about this vehicle that Solo really wanted. One of them was the navigation system. With the navigation system also comes a bigger screen yes. for the camera. It's just too big a vehicle and too many children that play around and so the backup camera. To me, I, like our last one, we did have a big one. Uh, you could actually, you know, it's not a tiny little screen. Yeah, so the screen for the other ones, all the other ones we looked at had a screen, but they were probably about that right. big. So That's probably the biggest sister, uh, big, biggest reason for me with the navigation because I knew mm -hmm. the t type of screen that it brings. Look at how but many But it also children. has a USB port and then all your phone stuff and your phone calls and your messages and everything yeah. pop up. So I think nice. that, that one would have worked with the other ones, maybe. I think. Maybe. maybe, maybe not. We're not sure. Anyway, um, this seems a lot more like a minivan to me. A lot more than the other one was more like a truck or SUV feel. Even just sitting there and all that. Do you feel like you have the same amount of room for your legs? Yeah, that part is the same. Yeah, so. Actually, yeah, it might be a little bit roomier here. Yes. Than the other one. So another thing you really wanted was the EcoBoost. Right, because they don't make V8 engines on this. It's, it's, it's a big vehicle for a V6 for me. So the EcoBoost that helps you be able to kind of pick up the speed. A lot better, yeah. Our other um, EcoBoost, I guess, isn't it? Our other van had the uh, V8 engine, so it picked up really well too. But I think this one picks up even a little faster than the V8. About the same. Okay. In my mind. Snow-wise, I think tire-wise, there's good snow tires on here. We haven't driven it much in the snow yet. Um, That's to be seen. But it's probably going to be very similar to our other vehicle. And we'll probably put some sandbag bags in the back to help it. But the guy did put on really, really good snow tires. So that's helpful. So um, our flooring is the same. It is the no carpet, which is kind of awesome. There's there's some cup holders here, and then there's these compartments here, which is nice for cell phone. They have them on that side, and there's another cup holder up there. And then there's this whole compartment down here I don't even know what we would do with. So that's kind of interesting. Another USB. There, hello. Up here we also have several compartments over the drivers, so it says don't put heavy objects, because I imagine if you stop fast it'll fall on you, but it'd be a great spot for pillows, and we're using it for Kleenex, and then there's a couple more compartments here. Oh, you wanna touch some things? <laughs> no, don't touch some things right now, okay? Um, you also have two, vo two 12 volt uh, inputs here so that you can plug in bigger things there and then also one really really cool thing about this is that it has this automatic um hold on hope we're not gonna use it much mm -hmm. because we don't tow much but if you're towing it does have an automatic tow package uh, releasing and entry so it connects your tow whatever you're towing into your yes. your trailer into your vehicle so that is really cool. Yeah, our other van did not have a tow package on it, but a lot of NBs do, so. Okay, let me give you a quick little tour. So we don't have carpet, like I said, and then um, the seats feel nice and roomy, just like our other one. It actually feels like the seats are about the same size as our other vehicle. The difference is the car seat hooks are on the outside ones, where the NB, it was on the middle ones all the way back. So 
that just matters for us for the infant car seat but we do have car seats lining the whole back and <laughs> that side and then we have a booster over here as well but the nice difference here is that that our envy did not have is that the armrests come down and it really helps when you're feeling like when you're on the end of a row for a long trip <laughs> or actually for any trip and when you can put that down you don't feel like you're falling off so these seats have been very popular among our older kids but yeah, they have armrests too and then all the seats recline which is something our envy did not do so there's a little strap here and you pull it and they recline oh let me see if i can show you how much they recline it's hard to show but i I reclined this one and it does help a little bit for sure. Let me um, unrecline it here because I can do that with one hand, I think. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so let me see if I can do it with one hand and a foot maybe. Oh, there. <laughs> so it does help a little. Every seat has, as you can see, a seat belt thing, which is nice. And then the headrests go up and down. We have taken this seat out. You can see there's very little space to come in the door and come back down the aisle. So whoever's sitting here really has to get out for people to come through. So. Um, I could see us leaving this seat out since we don't need every single seat and we have left it out actually a little bit one week we left it out completely um, but I think for our long trip we'll leave it in and then all of these seats come out like this one those two together so the two together and then that that row is all three I wish that was different that's one thing I would change about this van if I could I think Solo would agree with me he's the one that's had to remove seats we've already carried some large furniture in here and that whole thing is it's a lot to take out. It's heavy and Only it's one with North Wind's attendance. <laughs> uh, the difference, yeah, our other car will take out single seats and the biggest one will be dual. Yeah, like this front row, it's a whole Yes, bench. yes. So it's not as easy. And then the back row is these two come out together and these two do come out um, on this ends, but I've been told, we've been told that it's very difficult with the seat belt if you take them out, so it's really not recommended. So. Some people take these out and then they pack their stroller in here and all that. I'll show you the trunk space. It's very minimal. <laughs> so those two being out would be really helpful. There's also a handle there. So some people load and unload their kids. We, we saw that in the comments even. The people told us they load and unload their kids through the back door on these vehicles. And I can see why with this nice little aisle. I am standing up in this van, which is obviously a huge benefit over our NV. And we got the medium roof. So... If I stand all the way straight, my head pushes against the top, and I am 5'8". It actually took us a long time to start standing in it because we were used to hunch, hunching over, crawling through here, and so we've been training ourselves to stand up. There's only one other thing I really would change about this vehicle, and that would be put more cup holders in. There's one cup holder all the way back on each side, I believe. Our NV had cup holders that came out from underneath the seat, but it also made for a lot less storage under the seats, where the benefit of not having cup holders under the seat is that you have a lot more storage. So I guess it's a give and take. This game is going strong out here. <laughs> okay, and the last thing I'm going to show you is the trunk. Our car is dirty already because we have... <laughs> We just uh, took it, we took it on a little trip today and we were wondering how much uh, the wind would affect that high roof and it was worse than the NV. I've heard that the high roof, this is a medium roof, the high roof is even way worse. But yeah, it was hard, it was hard and it was a very windy day so it was nice that we got to try it out before we took our long trip. So this is our trunk space. As you can see, it is almost nothing. Almost nothing, so we're gonna, we do have the hitch and we're gonna hook something to there to carry some of our luggage and maybe not even take those seats out for the trip. We'll see. Um, to get the extended, there are vehicles that have a very extended trunk beyond the 15 passenger. You have to get the high roof and we just didn't want the high roof. So that's why we have very little trunk space. It's less than our NV, but we really needed the space in the seats and so that's why we made the decision we did. What's that? I don't even know what that is. Solo probably knows. <laughs> and then there's a there's like some emergency locks here on the inside. I don't think the doors go all the way like the other vehicle did. Yeah, so there it is from the back. Like I said, it's kind of dirty. There it is from this side. I don't think I shut the side door all the way. And you can see how 
we cannot pull it in our garage because it's too high. So we have a third car, car garage and we've been told it's pretty simple to raise that. So that might be a project we do in the future so we can park in our garage. But yeah, so far we're liking it a lot. I think I gave you all the details. I know a lot of you would never uh, maybe have a reason to own such a large van, but it can be interesting to see what other people drive or what you have to drive when you have a huge family. <laughs> and also, sometimes you need to rent one and it's nice to see what they're like inside. These things get rented a lot and they're pretty reliable, I think. So we got one with very, very little miles on it. It was almost new, but we saved the money of buying a brand new one and we're really happy with it. So we'll see how it does on the trip. I forgot to show you, there's no console or anything in between the seats, which is nice because you can, it's easy for me to sneak back there to take care of the baby. Um, but I think it'll be really comfortable on our trip and we're already planning where each kid will sit and what's gonna go where and how we're gonna hang our stroller from the back of our vehicle or something. <laughs> we're trying to think outside the box and be creative, but I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. If you stick around our channel, you'll see a lot more of it come very soon when we take it all the way across the country with our 10 children. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.